Uh, in October this year, Mark Hankinson, who was the director of Master of Foxhounds Association, was convicted of encouraging illegal fox hunting. He was caught on camera advising hunts on how to break the 2004 Hunting Act. He exposed what many believe to be true of trail hunting, that it's used as a smokescreen for illegal hunting. Since his conviction, I was pleased to see there are a number of organisations, including National Resources Wales and the National Trust, have since banned trail hunting on their lands. Members of the National Trust voted overwhelmingly to support that ban. Cheshire West and Chester Local Authority are also set to follow suit. Trail hunting is also currently suspended on the Lake District National Park. Minister, I'd like to call for a ban of trail hunting on all publicly owned land. That includes town centres where many of the hunts have traditionally met for their Boxing Day and their New Year's Day hunt. I would like to urge the Welsh Government to look and work closely with Welsh Government and other authorities and organisations and landowners to make this a reality. It's not just our wildlife that has suffered horrendously as a result of so-called trail hunting, but also dogs. Many are on over on busy roads during the hunt or are seen in recent footage shot dead when they are no longer deemed useful. This sadly is not illegal, but nonetheless is barbaric. Uh, thank you, and I very much welcome the decision uh, made by Natural Resources Wales on the 18th of November not to renew uh, their agreement with the Master Fox Hounds Association. And as you say, the National Trust uh, banned trail hunting on their land uh, from the 25th uh, of November. That decision was made in a public session where careful consideration was made of all the uh, issues involved following the outcome of the court case to which you refer. Uh, against a senior leader of the Master of Foxhounds Association. Uh, your request around uh, consideration uh, of a ban of trail hunting on all public land is something that would need uh, further consideration by the Welsh Government. Natasha Oshka. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Minister, may I ask for a statement from the Deputy Minister of Climate Change on the current weight restrictions for vehicles in operation on the M4 between Junction 24 and Junction 28? I know that's very specific, mm. and the reason why I ask is because a constituent, I know you like, don't like to answer on a specific case, but the reason why I'm asking is because it's slightly confusing as to what's arisen in front of me. So a constituent has contacted me regarding a freedom of information request he sent to the Welsh Government asking how many HGVs have been stopped since the restriction was 